गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टू चिल्ड्रेन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फोर स्टोरी टाइम सो ब्रिंग आउट योर बुक एंड ओपन पेज नंबर फोर्टी टू ब्रिंग आउट योर मॉरल साइंस बुक एंड ओपन पेज नंबर फोर्टी टू वट इज़ द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर चिल्ड्रेन द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज स्टोरी टाइम इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल अंडरस्टैंड थ्री स्टोरीज सो ओपन पेज नंबर फोर्टी टू वॉट इट इज गिवन This pictures tells us a story. Look at them carefully. Then say the story aloud. So look at the first picture. Children, in the first picture you are getting a person is throwing litters on the road. What do you mean by litters? Okay, do you know what is the meaning of litters? Litters are like the rubbish materials that is left lying bottles, cans, wrappers. and to throw all these things on the road we call that litters okay so the person is throwing litters on the road now come to the second picture in the second picture you are getting in the second picture you are getting a small girl is taking up all the litters and in the third picture you are getting that small girl is throwing the litters in the dustbin so what we have understood that we don't have to throw litters on the road we don't have to throw litters here and there it will makes our surroundings dirty it will make our surroundings unclean so that small girl is just taking up the litters from the road and then she is throwing the litters in the dustbin which is very eco friendly she is doing that means she wants to keep the environment very clean so what we have understood from the first story children that we don't have to throw litters we don't have to throw waste materials here and there because it keeps our surrounding dirty it makes our surrounding dirty we have to keep our surroundings very very clean whether it is our school our home market place any malls any park we have to keep our surroundings very very clean because environment is friendly in nature now come to the page number 43 look at the first picture children in the first picture you are getting there is a line we say that queue people are standing in a queue and what they are doing they are taking ticket okay ticket they are taking ticket for the fair now come to the second picture in the second picture you are getting a lady with purse or watch is just breaking the queue and she wants to go in front do you think she is doing correct no she is not doing the correct way we don't have to break the queue now come to the third picture in the third picture you are getting that a lady is scolding that lady who is just breaking the queue so what we have understood from this story that children we don't have to break the queue whenever we wherever we are in bus stop we are in a cinema hall we are taking the tickets or wherever we are if there is a queue we have to follow the queue if we are in last then we have to wait for our turn patiently we don't have to break the queue understood so in this story we have understood that we don't have to break the queue now come to page number 44 in the first picture you are getting a boy is doing something on the bench is painting something on the bench what do you think is he is doing correct no we don't have to write we don't have to scribble or scratch on it anything on the bench desk now come to the second part you are getting a person a small boy is making them understand that we don't have to make our public place dirty whether it is our school whether it is our home whether it is any public place we don't have to write here and there we don't have to scratch the desk scratch the chair in the third picture you are getting they are cleaning the bench so what we have understood from the third story that we don't have to write we don't have to make our public place or our home dirty whether it is our school our home 
any public place we don't have to write here and there okay we have to make the place very very clean so from the three stories we have understood that we have to keep our surroundings clean we have to follow the cue we don't have to make our benches desk uh, door window walls dirty we have to keep it clean so now come to always remember children there are some points which you have to keep in your mind always you can do your part keep public spaces clean and help others what it is written children it is written that you don't have to wait for others that if she will clean then only i will clean no you have to do your part you are also the part of this planet you are also the part of this earth so you have to do your part you have to keep your surroundings clean you have to keep your public spaces clean whether you are going in park don't throw the wrappers here and there whenever you are coming to school don't make your classroom or your school ground dirty when you are ever you are in bus you are in school bus or you are in public bus don't make it dirty you have to keep it clean now come to the first point don't litter our country is beautiful let's keep it clean don't litter our roads buses beaches forest and other spaces litter means what i have make you understand about litters means to throw the bottles cans wrappers here and there we say that litters so what it is written children that don't litter don't throw anything on the road buses beaches forest and other spaces we have to keep our spaces very very clean if our environment is clean then only we will get the clean air to breathe we need oxygen to breathe no if you will make your environment dirty then the air which you will take the oxygen which you will take it will be dirty now come to the second point pick up and carry if you cannot find a dustbin anywhere keep your wrappers and other rubbish with you don't throw, throw the rubbish down means if you are somewhere where there is no dustbin so it doesn't mean you will throw the wrappers or other things on the road no you have to carry your rubbish materials with you okay don't throw it here and there if some somewhere is like that no there is no dustbin so it doesn't mean you will throw here and there the rubbish things no you have to take with you now come to the third one wait for your turn stand in queue remember to wait for your turn patiently what does it mean it means that if you are in a queue you have to wait for your turn patiently you don't have to break the queue so children keep all the three points in your mind now come to the next so now we will see some point children that help our earth every day turn off the lights recycle save your leftovers be nice to the worms share a book plant a tree use both sides of the paper save water and clean up trash these are the some points which help our earth to keep clean every day so children so children go through the video properly and try to understand the chapter thank you and have a very nice day stay safe stay home